you click advanced, you will see this configuration uh, dialog. You will be able to change the mean target headway and mean driver reaction time, minimum gap, and Q gap distance. You can choose change these parameters. Probably you want to change the target headway to control the capacity. Now the last topic is MSUM. In MSUM, MSUM is using the Gibbs model, which is the collision avoidance model. The first equation is very difficult to understand. So let's see what it have, what it has. On the left is the speed of vehicle at the time t plus t plus capital T. And this is equal to the current, the, the vehicle speed at time t plus something. So this minus this will be acceleration multiplied by time, right? Correct? So let me say again. This is the vehicle's uh, speed at t plus t, the future speed. This is the current speed. They, these two speeds are separated by time capital T. What? And the difference will be equal to something multiplied by time difference and the acceleration, maximum acceleration, and a lot of things. But these a lot of things are only decided by the desired speed and the speed of itself. So in this from this uh, equation, we don't see the influence of the vehicle leading. So this is called maximum speed. That's the speed that the current vehicle wants to get. It has nothing to do with the leading vehicle. Remember this. The maximum speed a vehicle can get at any time. And this, you see this ugly equation because of calibration, because it's calibrated. Now, there's another speed called speed limitation. In the speed limitation, the VB, the, this speed is controlled by the vehicle leading. And there are some parameters, like the vehicle's position, and the vehicle length, maximum deceleration, and lastly, very importantly, the desired, uh, desired deceleration. This is the estimation of the deceleration of the vehicle ahead of me. And that's why we call it collision avoidance, because in this model, it's going to estimate the deceleration of the leading vehicle. And as a result, it can control the speed to uh, avoid collision. In short, this VB means uh, the speed limited by collision. And in MSUM, at any time, stand, uh, at any time uh, the acceleration will be the minimum of these two accelerations. In another word, the speed will be the minimum of these two speed, the maximum speed or the speed limitation. This collision avoidance model, all right? In MSUM, you have limited uh, uh, ability to change the model. In the vehicle type, you can change the reaction time and the reaction time at stop. And I guess that's all. Now let me, let's compare these models. That's the, the last part. I will finish it very quickly. So in the 2005 paper, they compared four things. They compared the field measurement of time and distance they collect data from the field, and they use the leading vehicle speed and the speed data to program these simulation models. And the author, the authors wanted to study how the these simula uh, simulation model, carbon models in uh, simulation soft software, can replicate the reality. So this solid thick line is the field measurement, and we can see in some. We can see missing, and we can see here crimes. Field measurement, M sum, missing, and crimes. From this figure, we visually we can visually identify that crimes works not very good. And did I mention what kind, what category of carbon model that crimes is using? I didn't mention because it doesn't belong to any uh, any model in literature, I guess, or at least it doesn't mention that. So you see, it's not 
fitting, it doesn't fit very well to the field of observation. They should have this curve. Uh, Gramix is generating this curve, so it's less accurate. And this is the distance, delta x. This figure represents how they can uh, replicate delta x, delta distance. This is an, uh, another thing. In this literature, this paper, they, as I mentioned, they have 79 and 99 model, but they use 79. Actually, it should be 99. Just want to make it, this is a typo. Now, this is their, this is the, their uh, ability to replicate the speed difference, delta v. Again, uh, I think it's very difficult to see here, but the result is Primix is the worst. Emerson and Vizen are almost uh, as good as each other. All right? This is the third curve. Delta v and delta x for the following vehicle. This is the, the, the uh, field measurement. So their relationship goes like this. This is the result of the result of Amazon. Very similar. This is the result of Vsim, also very similar. But this is Premix. Premix. So these are the, the comparisons. Alright? Now I have finished talking about coupling models. And I want to assign another homework. I think it's very easy. It's very simple. Uh, uh, I didn't explain a lot. I just want you to design an ex experiment to test the effect of driver reaction time. I don't want to. Uh, I didn't mention how you, uh, what you want to compare. I, I didn't mention what you want to get and how you do it. But I want to. I want you to compare to test the effect of driver reaction time. Actually, it's called temporally temporary lack of tension. I just want you to test this parameter to see how it affects the network performance or, or anything, how it affects anything in this. And it's also fine if you use Gramix or Amazon if you have the license. All right, that's the homework. And for these homeworks, I want to change the homework due date so it's not due uh, in the, on the next Tuesday. You can submit it at any time, before the end of the semester. So does this uh, sound better? Uh, because I know you have, may have something to arrange. I want to change my methodology of teaching. But here's notice, uh, if here's a strict thing. First of all, we have no class on Tuesday because there is a meeting I have to, a conference I have to attend. So you have no class on Tuesday. But on the 20th, uh, on Wednesday, the project proposal is due. This one, for this one, I would say the late proposal will not be accepted. If you didn't, uh, if, you, you, uh, if you don't submit your proposal on Wednesday, I will assume you have no proposal, you, have no, you don't have your own project. Then you probably want to do this project with Spinjian. It's called error checking and calibration of the GPN-RTC transient model. This uh, model is transient model of a big area consisting of the greater Niagara, uh, Buffalo Niagara area. And now it has, uh, there is already a model, but it has some bugs. And you may want to find the bugs and calibrate it. And this, as I mentioned at the beginning of the semester, we, we want to have individual projects. So you cannot be, uh, so all of you have to contribute something. Uh, but in this case, uh, I mean, also in this case, you are, this is an individual project. So all of you are doing this, but each of you is responsible for a sub-area. And your areas will not overlap. Uh, I hope you can discuss with Inja if you want to use the default object. So maybe uh, in the next class, I mean on Tuesday, maybe you can all talk to Inja about this project. And for if you decide to use to do this project, then you don't have to submit a proposal, but you have to discuss with him to understand what the project do, what the project is doing. So you are responsible for this proposal, and. 
all other people are going to help you uh, in uh, writing a proposal. Yes, uh, I will actually provide several documents about this project. I think it will be pretty straightforward for you if you know about transcends. And it okay. will not take a lot of time. Okay. Okay. I will, I will talk about this very soon. Uh, I want to just mention for different students, for master students and PhD students, you probably have different uh, aims in this project class project. For PhD students, you may want to re relate relate this to your research. So you may want to have a simulation project. I mean, to use simulation in your current research project. But for master students, I understand that you are going to graduate soon, and you want to. Uh, you just want to apply this technique. So you can use uh, a very applied topic, like a designing of an intersection around the Buffalo area. That would be good for master students, but for PhD, I mean for the people outside of uh, transportation, you, can, you may also want to choose a simpler, a simpler topic. But I would encourage you to relate this to your research, so in the future you can, uh, the value will not be lost. And I want you to make sure if you want to make a presentation or to write a report after this semester, uh, in the end of the semester. One of, one of them is good. If you like to present, choose presentation. Otherwise, choose a report. And now I want to count how many people are willing to uh, do this default project. In just first of all, could you raise your hand if you currently in just, See these people. <laughs> One, two, three, five, six, six in all, right? So six people are in your team, and you will be the team. You are not a team leader, but you act like a team leader. So each one is will be distributed a different task, a different sub area. Could you handle this? Okay. Okay. And could you actively, uh, also actively contact India for all the materials, documents, programs, anything like that? Okay. Any questions?